Doesn't it occur to you, Higgins, that the girl has some feelings? Oh, I don't think so. Have you, Eliza? I got my feelings the same as anyone else. You see the difficulty, Pickering? What difficulty? To get us to talk grammar. I don't want to talk grammar. I want to talk like a lady. Will you please keep to the point, Mr. Higgins? What's to become of her when you've finished with her teaching? What's to become of her if we leave her in the gutter? That's her business, not yours, Mr. Higgins. Well, when we finish with her, we throw her back in the gutter. Oh, you've no feeling art in you, you haven't. I'm going away. I've had enough of this. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, hey, Eliza. Eliza. Come here, Eliza. Here, 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 Liza. Have a chocolate, Liza. How do I know what might be in them? I've heard the girls being drugged by the like of you. Oh, where's your good faith, Eliza? Oh, I wouldn't have answered it. Only I'm too lazy like to take it out of me mouth. You shall have boxes of them, Eliza. You shall live on them. Now listen to me, Eliza. You're going to live here for six months and learn to speak beautifully like a lady in a florist shop. If you're good and do whatever you're told, you shall sleep in a proper bedroom, have lots to eat, and money to buy chocolates and take rides in taxis. If you're naughty and idle, you shall sleep in the back kitchen among the black beetles and be walloped by Mrs. Pierce for the broomstick. At the end of six months, you shall go to Buckingham Palace in a carriage. Beautifully dressed. If the king finds out you're not a lady, you will be taken by the guards to the Tower of London, where your head will be cut off as a warning to other presumptuous flower girls. But if you are not found out, you will receive a present of seven and sixpence to start life with as a lady in a shop. If you refuse this offer, you will be a most ungrateful and wicked girl, and the angels will weep. Now are you satisfied, Pickering? Can I put it more fairly, Mrs. Pierce? Bundle her off to the bathroom. <laughs>